Well, some Texas ranchers are struggling to find workers because of fears at the border. Title 42, a Trump era COVID-19 border policy is currently currently rather held up in federal court, but could be just two weeks away from ending. Fox's Mills Hayes is live tonight in Eagle Pass to show us how border communities are dealing with effects of more migrants coming from Mexico. Mills. Yeah, Jonathan, many of the people that I spoke with that live here in this border town tell me that they're from Mexico or they have family that's from Mexico. So they say they feel for people trying to come over into the U.S., but the rate at which illegal immigration is increasing is just unsustainable for border towns like this one. This Texas ranch is less than a mile from the U.S.-Mexico border. We run Angus cattle here and we got racehorses. So. Double M Ranch owner Mike Hayes says migrants tie clothing on these ranch fences to make it less painful to cross. They come through and they cut our fences and they leave trash everywhere. The surge of migrants coming over from Mexico is starting to hurt his business. The livestock gets out on the road and get hit by, hit by cars. And Just like the rest of the country, he's got a labor shortage problem, but for a different reason. They won't come anymore. They're scared of it down here. They don't know who they're, who's coming across. They don't know if, if they're gang members or what the crimes they've committed. Maverick County Constable Albert De La Torre says people living in Eagle Pass are anxious. They've been experiencing problems with uh, undocumented persons coming into the neighborhoods. They've been getting into their yards, some cases getting into their houses, breaking in, breaking into vehicles. It's not just Republicans who worry about the end of Title 42. Democratic Eagle Pass Mayor Pro Tem Yolanda Ramon says the community is concerned. I can guarantee you that the migrant impact it could be even more than double. If Title 42 expires, if they, President, President Biden don't, doesn't do anything to, to, to uh, stop that, trust me, uh, we are going to see things that we have never seen here in Eagle Pass before. Yeah, deputies also tell me that they're dealing with issues when it comes to stash houses. Now, that means that dozens of migrants that came over from Mexico will be huddled in a house somewhere in Eagle Pass, and they'll just wait there until a bus can come and pick them up and take them out of the community. But right now, Title 42 is scheduled to be heard in court next week. In Eagle Pass, Mills Hayes, Fox 26 News.